So we were a small group and uh, we mostly talked off topic. <laughs> but um, so Aaron shared some important insights about how the Common Core has affected his teaching. And um, I'll, I'll ask him to uh, give you those after I uh, um, just give a few more general observations about the Common Core. So I, I talked this morning about how the Common Core or, or the standards sort of made visible to uh, the uh, mathematics educators that the American curriculum was incoherent. And one of the main goals of the Common Core was to correct that. And so um, <clears throat> the, the first um, ob objective of the Common Core was to be focused, to have fewer topics per grade level. And uh, so uh, that you could, and then to be deeper, to spend more time and learn those topics more thoroughly. So that was the first goal of the Common Core Standards. And uh, another goal was coherence. So um, topics which had been just treated as discrete topics, learn this, learn this, learn that, were now connected together and were sort of parts of a larger whole. Um, a very good example of that is in just in first and second grade, um, we just used to treat the learning the addition facts as just a memorization issue. And now the addition and subtraction facts, well first of all, um, the Common Core puts addition and subtraction together rather than having them separate. And then secondly, learning the addition and subtraction facts is treated as part of learning the base 10 system. So which is in fact the ultimate goal. So uh, kids now learn the addition and subtraction facts up to 10, and then they learn the teen numbers as a 10 and some ones. And they, there's some translation in there. In Chinese, they say 10, 1, 10, 2, 10, 3. But we say 11, 12, 13. I mean, and uh, so they have to, kids have to learn what the words actually mean structurally. And after they've learned that, then they learn the higher addition facts, but not by memorization, but by making and unmaking a 10. So there's a, a coherent progression to the, to the learning wh who, which, whose ultimate goal is learning the base 10 system. And that's, that's an example of how the Common Core has changed things. And uh, so there's, it, the Common Core has had sort of, I think, two effects on, on teachers. One is it's made their job easier because they don't have to, all this coverage issue that they had before, but they have to spend more time talking about the ideas. And in, in general, the, uh, so, so the teacher's job has changed seriously from just covering all these topics to concentrating on a few topics but linking them together in meaningful ways. And to accomplish this, this should have been a, a, accompanied by a massive and extensive professional development. Most states just, you know, uh, passed on that. So this is why, one reason why we're having trouble implementing the Common Core. Um, the other thing is that Arne Duncan linked the Common Core to a new set of assessments, and the new set of assessments is upsetting everybody. So that's been one of the reasons for the backlash of the Common Core. But, but my message to you is basically the Common Core is an improvement of, over what's gone before, and if the education system in general can get its act together, it provides a potential for improvement. Okay, so okay, so I'll now let Aaron talk about his uh, experience. Thank you, Roger, for letting me talk. I, 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 I wanted to do that. Um, <clears throat> so uh, I, I guess to sum up, I mean, I'm just going to repeat a lot of stuff he said. But um, before Common Core, the Illinois State Standards had me teaching all eight strands of mathematics every year. We covered everything. And it just got a little harder every year. Um, and because of that, we didn't get to everything every year. So it was up to the teachers to make choices. What do we really want to teach? So kids ended up coming to each grade with all these funny little gaps. Um, but the Common Core has kind of let us focus on you know smaller amount of content every year. Um, so now as a seventh grade math teacher, I have a unique responsibility for these um, set of ideas. 
and themes that I can spend a lot of time on. And I have a 30-day unit for ratios and proportions. I have a 30-day unit for algebra. And I can really draw out these connections and make students see math in a more connected and um, I think uh, a subject that makes more sense to my students. So my students start to see math as not just these series of um, skills. Um, they, they start seeing it as a, you know, this connected, more, I like to say, beautiful subject. Um, so yeah, it's Common Core is good. <laughs>